Hey everybody, Jeff Gibby. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming to today's class. Uh, we're gonna have a good one, I promise. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to the uh, disclaimer. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific, uh, <laughs> rather guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. You know, I've only read this 300 times or so. Uh, the information software and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. So there you go with that. I do want to say thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, uh, we do have a special guest on, Ryan Capaccio, today. Uh, Ryan um, came to me initially. I don't remember exactly how we met, but he, he's developed and designed uh, a fairly robust system for Metastock, and he was showing it to me. It's all designed to kind of make things very, very easy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to bring him on here. Ryan, how are you today? I'm doing good. Good. Hope everyone else out there is doing all right. Good. Uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the controls over to you. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and let you get started. Uh, let me go ahead and get this screen looking proper. Okay. Um, the floor is yours, my friend. All right. Perfect. Oh, well, I guess I'll kick things off by saying uh, my goal today, because I know it's, so it's five o'clock my time. I don't know if anyone's on the East Coast or the West Coast, but it's summer. So my, my goal is to keep this like a tight, I want to say 45 minutes it, with questions, maybe like an hour. I want to be you know, very reasonable with people's time. So I'll kick it off after I silence my phone. Well, like I said, I'll kick it off. Just like Jeff said, my name's Ryan Capazio. I'm co-founder of Simplicity Trading Systems. And I'm also the managing partner of the Capazio Trading Company. So real quick, a little bit about myself, my history, these companies. Capacio Trading is an equity trading and research company where we trade stocks, ETFs, and REITs. We do primarily long-term and short-term trading with very, very little day trading, which means we're full-time traders. It's how all of us make our living. In the beginning, we got all of our trade ideas from doing very traditional technical analysis. And then like most people, it was taking me hours upon hours to do research on all the stocks I was looking at. It got to the point eventually that there literally wasn't enough hours in the day for me to do all the research I needed to do on all the different stocks I was interested in. Then I thought, well, hey, wouldn't it be great if there was a system out there that did most of this work for me? A system that could tell me if a stock was going to trend up or trend down and then let me know when the right time to place my trade was. So I didn't have to manually do all this work every single night, but there wasn't one. So I co-founded Simplicity to develop a system that could do just that. And after years of hard work, what ended up happening was we had developed a strategy that took almost no time at all to do all of our analysis on all the different securities that we looked at. I went from doing hours of research in a day to only minutes at night. Then people started hearing about what we had created. So we started consulting with high net worth individuals on their trading. We did this for a while before it occurred to me, hey, why are we only sharing this with a select group of people? Why don't we make this strategy into a software program and then we can make it available to everyone everywhere. So. That's when I connected with Jeff and Metastock. And then together, we developed what we have now, which is the Endeavor add-on. And this is exactly what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So let's dive right in. Like I said, we built Endeavor to do the hard work for you, including most of the technical analysis. With Endeavor, you can identify the best stocks to trade in as little as 15 to 30 minutes at night, a night making it so that everyone everywhere has the amount of time necessary to do research and identify good quality stocks. My goal today is to show you how Endeavor can help you with your trading, no matter if you're a long-term or a short-term trader. And then hopefully at the end, 
everyone walks away with a strategy that can help them improve their trading and cut down on their analysis time. So let's go over what we're gonna talk about. Topic number one, how to predict when price will make a 15 to 20% upward movement in six months or less. And we're gonna do this with our green signal, which is gonna be represented by a green arrow below the price on all the charts. So if used properly, you can expect to make anywhere between 15 and 20% on each long trade you take when using the green signal. And when I say long, sorry. And when I say long, I mean that you're betting that price is going to rise in that six month time frame. Topic number two, how to predict if price is overbought and about to fall 5% or more in an average of 15 days. And we're gonna do this with our early warning signal, which is gonna be represented by all the red diamonds above price that you'll see on the charts. Now, the early warning signal is a shorting strategy, which means you're gonna be betting that price is going to fall. And when used properly, you can expect with this one to make 5% or more on your money in around 15 days. So you're only holding that stock for 15 days, which is shortening your exposure time to the market. So why these two topics? Well, in my opinion, trading is all about being well-rounded, which means no matter if the markets are rising or falling, you always need at least two perspectives, a long-term view and a short-term view. And by using these two signals, you'll have just that. So if the markets are healthy and they have the potential to move up, you can use the green signal and identify good stocks that can make you larger returns than just putting your money in the S&P 500 in less than one year's time, which is kind of the point of trading your own money. Now, when it comes to the early warning signal, I know that some people think that shorting or shorting stocks in general is a pessimistic way to look at trading. And for that, all I can say is they're right. It absolutely is. But consider the facts stocks fall on average three times faster than they rise, which means if you short a stock, you can make more money in less time than if you went long that same stock. So if you're a trader, you have to learn to short. And our early warning signal is a great place to start. Okay, now, before we go over all of our examples, first, I wanna show you how we identify if a stock is a good trender or not. We call this part identifying the big picture movement. And this is how it works. After you've selected a security, we categorize price for you as either endeavor or discovery. The endeavor category is gonna represent potential upward trends that could reach their all time highs. And then the discovery category is gonna represent potential downward trends, which you're very likely to consolidate at their lows. With these classifications though, you're gonna be able to tell at a simple glance at your chart if price is more likely to have an upward or a downward trend. Let's look at a very simple example. This is ticker symbol TIF, which is Tiffany's. Now, once you're inside Metastock, all you have to do is type in a ticker symbol, click that open chart button. Then when the chart comes up, you're gonna apply our Endeavor and Discovery template. And then a ribbon is gonna appear at the bottom of your chart, identifying the category that price is in. And then we also give you the 100 period simple moving average on your chart to help you see the overall direction of that trend. The company. So, now, there you go. when you're looking at the chart and the ribbon on the bottom of the chart turns to light gray, this is gonna represent the discovery category. And it's gonna let you know that price is likely to make a downward trend and that you should not be going long this stock because it's likely to fall. But when the ribbon turns to dark gray, this time it represents the Endeavor category and it lets you know that price is likely to make an upward trend. The ribbon then on the bottom of your chart not only changes colors to represent the different categories, but it's also going to provide the text to remind you what the different categories mean and how price should move. Now, just so we're all on the same page while going through this, Every chart you see is gonna be a daily bar chart, which means that every bar in the chart is gonna represent one single trading day. We recommend that you use daily charts when using the Endeavor add-on. 
Everyone on the same page? Okay, moving on. Let's break this chart down now and look at it in the individual categories. So you can see here, when price was in the discovery category, it trended down for months, eventually hitting its low and then consolidating. Or put another way, it traded sideways, not moving up or down, just dead money. As you would expect it to, since that's what the discovery category represents, potential downward trends with consolidation at their lows. But just because a stock is currently in discovery doesn't mean that all hope is lost. Notice how then as soon as price enters the Endeavor category, it started moving up. And that's because the Endeavor category represents price having a potential upward trend. They could reach their all time highs. You'll find that stocks make their largest moves up when the price is in the Endeavor category. If you look back at this chart, you can see that in this case, price moved into Endeavor in around September, around $75 and then moved up to $109, which is what a 45% increase. In fact, every stock that has ever exceeded its all time high has done so while in the Endeavor category. So how is this possible? It's very simple. The Endeavor category identifies when price has the opportunity to trend up and price can only take out its high if it's trending up. Makes sense, right? And the best part is our system's gonna identify these categories for you. So all you have to remember is what they represent. When price is into the discovery category, you can expect potential downward trends with consolidation at lows. Then when the price is in the endeavor category, you can expect potential upward trends that could reach their all time highs. And then if you need a little reminder, the ribbon on the bottom of the the ribbon on the bottom of your chart is gonna show you the text that tells you which category and what they mean. So now let's talk about our signals, the green long-term trend signal and our early warning signal. These signals, signals are only going to occur if price is in the Endeavor category. So let's start with the green signal. When price enters Endeavor, our algorithms kick in and they identify if price has the potential to make a long-term upward movement? If so, then you get a green signal. The green signal will show up, like I said earlier, as a green arrow on your chart that's gonna be below price. When you see the green arrow, you can expect price to make a potential long-term upward trend, as long as that signal is confirmed. So how do you confirm the signal? Well, I'll start by reading the overall definition of our green. Green signals represent price building strength after transitioning from major lows. This makes sense, right? Because we just talked about how if price is moving down, it's in the discovery category. As soon as it pops into Endeavor, it has the possibility to move up. If we get one of these green signals, that's projecting that long-term move up. Price is likely to develop an upward trend that can last from months to years once confirmed. Three consecutive closes above the trigger point are needed to confirm the signal. Then colored icons mark the confirmation bar and identify the strength of the trend. Okay, now let's go over these three colored icons on the bottom. The first question I usually get asked is, why are the icons numbered threes? And the answer is very simple. We need price to stay above our custom price, which we call a trigger point, for three consecutive days. So instead of you counting yourself each and every day, you get a colored icon that's gonna count for you. So when you see the colored three, you automatically know that price has stayed above our trigger point for three days. When you see the green three icon, it's letting you know that price has the potential for a long-term trend. This is gonna be your best friend. You have the highest likelihood of a good trender with this green strong strength signal. Then when you see the yellow three icon, it's letting you know that price is a little rocky and needs a little extra confirmation. So now you have to manually watch for price to have at least three consecutive closes above the confirmation bar. And I'll show you how to do this once we jump into our live examples. And trust me, it's almost laughable how simple it actually is. 
And then last but not least, when you see the red three icon, this is letting you know that price has become overextended and a trade is not going to be recommended. So let's look at an example. This is Under Armour, ticker symbol UA. Now, when a signal occurs, you're gonna get that green arrow on your chart, like you can see on the far right of the chart, followed by an alert box. that's gonna pop up and tell you that a green occurred. Price is likely to develop a long-term upward trend once confirmed. Then it's gonna remind you how to confirm. Three consecutive closes above the trigger point are needed to confirm the signal. Check green's commentary for the trigger point and smart getouts. So let's do that just that. Let's open up our commentary. And here you'll find the definition of green, but we've already gone over it, so I'll skip that part. And we'll go right down to the trigger point, which is 1901. Now we need price to close above this figure for three consecutive days. If it does, then we'll get one of our colored three confirmation icons telling us how strong or weak the potential trend will be. So let's move forward in time here and see which signal we get on Under Armour. So this is now six days later and we have our signal, which is confirmed. We also get another alert box telling us what that signal represents. So let's see what it is. Today is the third consecutive close above Green's trigger point and the strength of the potential trend is strong. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, if we continue down in the commentary and we scroll down, it also tells us that the green signal means strong strength. So now we know what kind of trend we're going to have. Let's look at our risk, which is down at the bottom of the commentary. And it says for long-term trades, use 1807 as a stop loss and risk estimate. Trades with a risk above 16% are not recommended. The estimated risk from this confirmation bar is 9.71%. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll mark our stop loss on the chart, which was that 1807. Now that we know our risk, the question becomes, well, how high can price move? Well, for this, we have a very simple process to identify just how high price is gonna go up. We look back one year. So since we're currently in 2019, we look back to January of 2018 and we see what the highest price has been. Then we calculate our 15 to 20% from that price, from our closing price of our confirmation signal. So in this case, we take 2001, and then we're gonna add 15% to that. And if in the past year, price has gone up to that amount, then we can logically assume that this will do it again. Let's get rid of the commentary and see what that one looks like. So 15% from our confirmation bar is 2302, which I've marked on here with a green line that you'll see on the very top of the chart. Also, as you can see, price has been there in the past, just barely, but it went up that high. So that's what we're looking for it to do again. So to recap, we now have our profit projection, which is 15% from our 2001. We know our risk is 9% from our 2001. If you're comfortable with that risk, 9% potential risk to make 15%, then you can take the trade. Now let's jump forward in time and see how this one worked out and also how long it took to work out. Because remember, you should be hitting these price projections within six months. So this is a shot of today, June 13th. And as you can see, a few days ago, we hit our profit projection of 15%. And it took around, let's say four and a half months which is pretty good if you ask me. Price looks like it actually, it barely consolidated at that 15% and it looks like it has the potential to bust through that resistance and continue to push higher. 
So if you were looking to make 15% on this or more than 15% on this, you probably could. Although I'm a conservative trader, I usually jump out of these if my profit potential is 15. I'll get out anywhere between that and 14 and a half. But again, I'm a conservative trader. Okay, so now that we've gone over a little bit of how the green long-term trend signal works, let's go live inside Metastock and we'll see it in action. And then first things first, I don't expect anyone to just bring up random stocks and hope and pray that they recently had a green arrow or a confirmation signal on that stock. So let's first look at how the power console works and how we can screen for these stocks effortlessly and so that it only takes minutes per day. So what I have up right now is the power console. I'll actually get out and go back in we come up here to the far left, click on the P for Power Console, and now we're gonna get a list of all the different signals that the Endeavor program has. Right now though, we're only gonna focus on the greens, which are these two. They're split into two for a very important reason. Number one is when you scroll over, you're gonna get an explanation of what these are. So for instance, this is our green long-term trend. This exploration scans for green signals which identify the formation of potential long-term upward trends. This is gonna be that physical green arrow. The report below it, this is gonna be the confirmation signal, one of the green, yellow, or red threes. The reason why these two are split up is because when you get that green arrow, you 100% need a minimum of three days until that trade is confirmed. So in those three days, you can do fundamental research on the stock, you can look into when the earnings are, you can read their latest earnings report, you can check out who the CEO is, you have a minimum of three days to do as much analysis on this stock as you like. Or if you've already done that, you can just run a report and get all the stocks that are confirmed. So if you run this report, which we call green confirmed, this exploration scans for green confirmed signals and identifies the strength of the potential long-term trends. Inside here then, strength is indicated by a number one. Whoop. Strength is indicated by a number one in the green, yellow, or red columns. So let's check that out. Let's say that I want to run a report, so I want Metastock to automatically find these for me. So I select Endeavor number three, then I select my stock list. So for me, I use a custom stock list. I trade pretty much exclusively 1200 stocks. But if you don't have your own custom stock list, that's no problem. Metastock gives you access to every stock in the NYSE or in the NASDAQ, the NYSE and the Amex. So you have 3000 stocks here, over 4000 stocks here, and then 512 stocks, always enough to run a report and get some good quality stocks. Let's come up here. I'm gonna right click and show this report. And this is what it would look like. So I've backdated this report because this is the confirmation, the green confirmation report. So if you'd like, you could have taken these stocks on the day that they show up in this report. You don't have to wait for three days. Once we're in here, it's laid out very logically. You can do it by closing price, highest to lowest, lowest to highest, or what I like to do is I choose this per, if the confirmation signal was green, telling me it's strong strength, yellow weak strength, or red to stay away. I pretty much only trade green strong strength stocks. So if you go back to 212, which I backdated because, like I said earlier, we need to give these stocks at least six months to produce winners. This is how I found Under Armour, which was the example that we just went over. I ran the report on 212. I categorized these only by looking for green strong strength stocks. I then get rid, let's highlight, that's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight potential stocks that have green confirmations on there. I generally, for long-term trades, don't look to take stocks that are over $80. So I'm gonna get rid of everything here that's $100, which leaves me with four options. This stock right here is an iShare. You can tell just by looking at it, I don't trade those. So now, instead of having all these options, I'm down to three before I've even opened my report. This is how simple this is. So let's get out of here and we'll take a look at some of these once you know how to run the report. We can take a look at some live greens. So just to give a little background here, the one that we just went over inside the presentation was Under Armour. This was an example of when you get a green long-term trend signal followed up by a green strong strength signal. We did our analysis. We realized that our risk wasn't that high and our profit projection was that 15%. And like we said, we've hit that. So let's look at a different color. Let's check out ticker ASA, which gave us a yellow confirmation, letting us know that this had weaker strength. So everything always starts with your green confirmation, or I'm sorry, with your green signal. So if you would have ran the green report on 130, this stock would have come up. Again, you can wait until you get your confirmation or you can count those days yourself. But anytime you get your green long-term trend signal, first thing we do here is come up, view, commentary. We're going to scroll down. We're going to get our trigger point. 1029. I'll mark that guy in the chart. 1029. And now you can sit here and you can manually count and see when you get three consecutive closes above this line, or you can wait for a confirmation signal. I'll zoom in. In this case, price kind of immediately dips down, so you have no chance of closing above that line. Then we get one, two, here's our third close, confirmation signal, letting us know that this trend has weak strength, extra confirmation is needed. Okay, no problem, what does that mean? Well, we come into our commentary and we can see extra confirmation recommended, manually watch for price to have at least three closes, three consecutive closes above the confirmation bars high. Our high Sharing on the confirmation bar the is 1060. Sure that you can That's why I put a yellow screen. line on there. The we now need so three much, more consecutive so closes above this price to really I... feel that that trend is confirmed and that it should move up. So what happens? Well, price immediately drops. It pushes up a little bit higher. We can now get rid of this. That's old news. We're looking for price to close three consecutive times, which is three days in a row above this line. We get one here, two, price pushes back down. And then we go months as price is falling, trading sideways, finally pops, pops back up. This is why this yellow weak strength signal is so important. Originally, when we got our green long-term trend signal, this stock had every opportunity to start moving up. But our confirmation to signal told us that this, this trend is very weak. It's very unlikely to continue unless we can get our three additional closes. We couldn't, we only got two. What happens? Price falls around, it does nothing. If you would have taken this trade, it would have been dead money. But if you would have listened to the signal and not jumped in yet, then you're just patiently waiting. No money at risk, no problem. By this point though, when you've gone through, February was practically over, March, April, May, June, this one comes off my watch list. I would no longer take that trade. So since we're on yellows, let's take a look at another stock that had a yellow signal. Again, I'll zoom in and back up. If you would have run our green long-term trend report on 221, this is the stock that was gonna come up. 
Let's go view expert commentary. Check out our trigger point, 4028. I'll put a line there. 40.28. I'll zoom in once more. So once we have our trigger point, now we need three consecutive closes above this line. One, two, three. Perfect. On that third close, we get our confirmation icon. In this case, telling us that once again, the strength is, we have weak strength on this trend and extra confirmations needed. So we know where to go inside our commentary to get that. We know that we need three consecutive closes now above this bar's high, because that's our confirmation bar. The high is 4113, which is represented by this yellow line. I'll get rid of the blue one. And now, just like before, we patiently wait. This stock goes on a watch list. Every day you can bring it up or you can set an alert and have it ping once you get your closes. So we get just shy of one. There's one. That one moves back down. The count sets over. Price pushes down, pops back up. One, two, three. Now on this day on 327, we now finally have our three consecutive closes, this time above our yellow line. It is now safe to take this trade. But first we have to check our risk. So we come down for long-term trades, use 3605, which is represented right here by this red line. And we are estim our estimated risk is 11.21%. Now that is given to us based off our confirmation day, not based off the actual day that we place the trade because the system doesn't know what day you place the trade. So in reality, this 11.21 is probably a little higher. But before we take any trade, we need to find out if there's 15 to 20% in that trade. So what do we do? We take our confirmation day, we take that closing price, and then we're gonna look back into 2018. And we're gonna say, was has price ever moved up 15 to 20% from that price? Since the close is 4007, and the high in 2018 was, I marked it with a green line here, roughly 5296, that would make that 28%, well above our 20%. This is 100% a contender to move up and make 15 to 20%. Now you'll also see that what I've marked on here is the most recent resistance. I used basic technical analysis to get this, a couple closes, a couple open, close and open. It was logical to assume that this is where price was going to stall out. Now this just happened to be 13% from our confirmation, which would mean that if you took the trade when we said to jump in on 327, if this is 13%, you most likely made 10% up until this point. As soon as price hits this blue line, you're just about around 10%, depending on at what time of day you took that trade. Now in this case, you could still stay in. This is a live trade, it's still ongoing right now. I don't get rid of anything until it actually hits that 15 or 20% projection. This one again, 13 from the confirmation. I would say that this is pretty substantial resistance. Price stopped there, it pushed down, it's traded sideways. Although the market's been moving up a little bit recently, this hasn't followed through like I'd want to. It looks like it's gonna find resistance again here in that same point. This is the kind of thing where did this stock have the opportunity to make 15 or 20%? Yes, it did. It absolutely did when the whole thing started. But as day by day, as we get more information from this stock, we can see that price is halted. Why not sell out of this? move our money into something else, a new fresh trade, start that time frame all over again. All right, so we've gone over our Under Armour example, which was a green strong strength. We've gone over two examples of yellow weak strength that leaves us with our last confirmation icon.
our red three, which is telling us no strength. So this is Columbia Sportswear, ticker symbol C-O-L-M. Again, if you would have ran a green report on 2-5, so February 5th, this is the stock that would have come up. Then you would have had to wait, identify your trigger point, 93.47, and then wait for your three closes. Now, obviously this stock had earnings, it gapped way up, so you weren't gonna get that. But more importantly, this stock told us that when we finally got our confirmation, three closes above this line, we immediately got a warning sign essentially. No strength, not recommended. We go back into our commentary, we check it out, no strength. Price has become overextended. Well, that's plain to see. And a trade is not recommended. And since this signal occurred telling us no strength on 212, this is the most recent trading day, today the 13th, we can see that price didn't go anywhere. So although this stock most likely had good earnings, something happened. What that something is, isn't all that important to me because I know that our algorithm identified that this thing moved up too fast, this trend was not going to continue, and it let me know that by telling me that this trend has no strength. If you would have purchased this, you would have had dead money for a couple of months, and then price finally pushed down, filling this gap. But if you listen to the system, you were in absolutely no danger of ever taking that trade. And it takes only moments to look and check a symbol and see which color it is, and then verify that strength reading. Last example, I figured we'd end on a bang. This is ticker symbol HIG. If we take a look at our green long-term trend signal, which occurred on 219. So if you would have ran that report, this is one of the stocks that came up. We come view, expert commentary, check our trigger point, 4918. 49.18, okay. We'll zoom in. Takes a little while for this guy to get confirmed to get our three clo consecutive closes above this line, but it finally happens at the end of March. And then our signal tells us that this is a green three. This is strong strength. So what do we do? We push down, we check our risk. For long-term trades, use 4409 as a stop loss. I've marked that here, which is 11.32%. We're getting kind of high on the risk on this one. Remember, anything below 16% is okay, but at best we're making 20%. So in this, you're, you have a decent amount of risk. Let's see if this stock has the opportunity to move up 15 or 20%. I'll zoom back out. We look for 2018. The highest point here, I said it was 58.73. Now I don't ever use the actual highest tippy top of that because that's just kind of unrealistic. You wanna use like a grouping of opens and closes over here. That gives you a much more, the market agreed for a couple days in a row that that's the highest price. So that's what I usually use. Now, if our confirmation here, our close was 49.72. This high, we said was 58.73. So that's larger than 15%, but smaller than 20%. It puts us firmly in the 18% range. So we know that our risk was just over 11%. Our profit projection is 18%. But again, I would probably sell out of this one around that 15% range. Because just because the top is 18% doesn't mean you're guaranteed to go back up there. It's likely to go that back up there. But again, I'm a conservative trader. I get anywhere around my 15% on this one. I would probably sell out. Currently, I marked the end of the day. This stock from our confirmation day, the day you would have entered this stock, is up roughly 9%, which not horrible. You jump in this at the end of March. So we'll say April, May, 
and we're halfway through June. Two and a half months, up 9%. It was probably just shy of 10% on 610. My opinion, that's sitting pretty pretty. And that's it for the green. This is how simple it can be to identify long-term trades that could make you anywhere between 15 and 20%. I would say on average, from running this report, going through, looking through all the qualified stocks, this takes me about 10 to 15 minutes a night. Because as you saw, the system's doing most of the work for me. And all I'm actually doing is just running the report. and then identifying the good greens. So in this case, like I said before, if I screen them just per green, if this was 212, we said we were looking at Under Armour, we were looking at TTC, we skipped, whoops, Under Armour and TTC. Maybe this, INFO. Oops. Three stocks and then you open up the charts and you bring it back down to maybe one or two. Now this ends the first portion of our presentation. Real quick, I just want to make sure, see if anyone has any questions up to this point. Otherwise, we'll jump into the second half and look at our early warning signal, which predicts the 5% dips in price. Just open the chat. No questions so far, so I'll move on. Okay, so early warning signals. These are gonna be represented by red diamonds above price on your chart. Early warning signals. Predict potential price dips of 5% or more in approximately 15 days with a minimum dip of 2%. Price will only move down once the trigger point has been crossed. If the trigger point is not crossed, price should continue its original upward trend. Now, the setup for early warnings are very simple. You're going to get two or more red bars on your chart. This is going to tell you that price is getting overextended. It's moved up too far, too fast, and a dip in price is near. Then, when you see the diamond appearing on the top of that bar, that's your early warning signal. All you have to do is check the commentary for the trigger point, and if price crosses it, we should see price fall 5% or more in around 15 trading days. Now, this 15 days is more of an average than a guarantee. So let's look at an example. This is Cisco Corp, ticker symbol SYY. As you can see, price here was moving up while in the Endeavor category, but the bars turn red and we get an early warning signal in April. So for right now, we're gonna skip this signal and I'm gonna come back to it at the end here. Once we better talk about and everyone has a firmer understanding of how these signals work. So right now we're gonna focus on the most recent signal in May. Now. Each red bar is alerting us to the fact that price has moved up too fast and like I said before, has become overextended. Then we get our red diamond, which is the early warning signal, followed up by an alert, reminding us what the early warning signal means. It tells us the early warning occurred, price has become overextended, references the red bars, and could dip 5% or more in approximately 15 days if the trigger point is crossed. Check early warnings commentary for the trigger point and more information. All right, perfect. Let's open our commentary. And here you'll find the definition of an early warning signal, which we've already gone over, but doesn't really hurt to do it twice. So early warning signals predict potential price dips of 5% or more in approximately 15 days with a minimum dip of 2%. Price will only move down once its trigger point has been crossed. If the trigger point is not cross, price should continue its original upward trend, which means if the price does not move down and cross our trigger point, then you can fully expect price to continue higher. But since you don't take the trade unless it crosses the trigger point, 
price moving up doesn't really mean much to us. Then we have our almighty trigger point, which in this case is 74.28. So I'll mark this on the chart with a red line. Perfect, now, last but not least, we have our profit projection. This is gonna tell us how far down our two to 5% dip will be. So in this case, 2% would bring price to 72.79, and a 5% dip would go down to 70.56. I'll mark these on the chart with two black lines. And now we're all set up. If in the next few days, price crosses our trigger point, which is the red line, our signal will be confirmed and we should see price fall 5% or more. Now, if the markets are trading relatively norm normal, then you should get a dip of 5%. But if the markets are falling, you could get a much larger movement. And then always worst case scenario, price only falls 2%. Let's move forward in time here and see what happens. Three days later, Price moves down and crosses the trigger point, so our signal is confirmed, which means it's now safe for us to take the trade. I'll jump forward in time again. It's now three days after that, and price fell hard here. It dropped like a rock, exceeding our 5% projection. We can see that because we more than crossed our bottom black line. In fact, from the trigger point to the low of this bar is just over 8% in a total of three trading days. Now, like I said, you don't always get moves like this. But just like I said in the beginning, if the markets are falling, you can get larger than normal movements. Well, me personally, when I hit my 5% line, I take my money. I'm a big believer in the better be safe than sorry standpoint. And it's important to remember that there's always gonna be another trade. Every time you run the report, week after week, month after month, you will get more stocks. However, in this case, because it happened in one single bar, price moved down so fast that you were practically guaranteed to make more than 5% on your money. So now let's go back and take a look at that early warning signal from April. Now, at first glance, this one looked like it failed because price didn't really move down all that far. But in actuality, price fell 2.5% from its trigger point. And I'll be the first to admit, you're not going to get rich making 2% on your money per trade. But not every trade can be a really big win. And this is, this is where I say usually that some money is better than no money at all. And the chance of this stock's the chance of these stocks only falling 2% is fairly rare. By far, on average, you get more 5% pluses than you get twos, but it does happen every so often. So I thought it was only fair to show you a realistic motion. Okay, now after this example, I feel like everyone has a pretty decent grasp of the early warning signal. So I'm gonna jump back into Metastock again and I'll show you some live examples. Let's get rid of all of our greens. We're no longer looking to go long. All right, now let's start just like we did, we did before by showing you how to find the early warning signals. So I'm gonna uncheck green confirmation and this time we're looking for smart get outs dash EW. This one stands, EW stands for early warning, 5% price dip. This exploration scans for early warning signals, which identify when price has the potential to dip 5% or more in approximately 15 days with remember a minimum dip of 2%. Perfect. So you would check this, you'd select your stock list. Like I said before, I use my custom list, but feel free to use anything that Metastock offers. Let's open up a report. And this time I chose a very specific date. So I went and I backdated our report, which happens right over here. 
exchange date and time, you can select any time you want, any time from the stock's IPO history until now. I chose 425 of this year. So why did I choose April when this, these stocks should be giving you your money within 15 days? Well, very simple. I didn't wanna show current stocks right now that were falling because not all of them have made their price projection yet. And I didn't want to go back in May and pick out some stocks because the entire market fell in May. It wasn't that difficult to pick what stocks were going to fall in May. I wanted to show you that in April, the market was still very strong. It was it had just made new all-time highs. It was still pushing up, but yet we still got stocks to go short on. We still got our short-term trading stocks. Why? Very simple. The early warning signal is identifying stocks that have moved up too far too fast. Well, a market that's moving straight up creates a lot of those. My report here is based off my 1200 stocks. So on 425 out of 1200 stocks, this is how many we got. I'll put them in order from lowest price to highest price. Like I said earlier, I generally don't trade many stocks that are over $80. So that gets rid of these four, one, two, three, four on the bottom. That leaves me with one, two, three, four, five stocks here to choose from. So let's act as if this is 425. Let's open up these stocks and let's see what we see. So because they needed to be backdated, I already did that. So we don't have to manually backdate each and every one of them. Now, because I backdated them to the day all their signals appeared, we got alert boxes. Since there's five stocks, there's five alert boxes. I'm gonna skip all the remaining alerts so we don't get this same box five times. And let's start by doing a very basic analysis. We can almost turn on the stopwatch and see how long it takes per night to go through these stocks. So the first thing I see right here is that this is a pro share stock. You can kind of tell that by looking at the way it trades. It's very gappy. I'm going to open this up. We'll back out a little. I don't like pro shares. My primary re reason for not liking them is I can pretty much guarantee you this will have no volume at all. So if we scroll down in the commentary, we always give you volume information. So if this is today, remember, in this example, today is 425 of 19. Today's volume was 39,000 shares. On a 120-day average movement, it's got 33,000. This is not a good stock to trade. We want to stay away from this guy. It doesn't have nearly enough volume to give us reliable trading. So I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to close him out of this layout. And our five stocks now become four stocks. Now the next chart that stands out to me is this TSM. Why does it stand out? Well, for the same reason as the last one, this one's very gappy, except this one is gappy in a very different way. See how this stock is gappy almost every single day and these bars don't seem to ever be the same size. That usually nine times out of 10 indicates that this is a foreign company headquartered somewhere outside of the US that's trading on our stock exchange. And then you can come up here and see that this is a Taiwan Semi. So this most likely has good volume. There's nothing to indicate that the volume on this guy would be bad if we open our commentary and check the volume. Yeah, so on this day, the day the signal occurred, 425, 10 million shares, more than enough shares to trade this stock. However, I don't like how gappy it is. And you always, always, always get gappy stocks if they're foreign companies trading on our exchanges. Gaps are very unpredictable. It's not something I wanna deal with, especially when I'm only looking for that 5% price projection. So I'm also gonna get rid of TSM. Get rid of that chart. Five now becomes three. All right, well, let's open up Twitter. This is a name that everyone knows. And let's start going through our process. So our early warning signal occurred. Let's come up here, view expert commentary. Come down to our trigger point, 37.98. 
37.98. Okay. Let's make this color red because our early warning signal is red. Okay, now I'll move us manually a couple days forward. Now, usually you would just wait, wait out the days, but since we backdated it, I can choose where we go. Uh, let's see, 425, let's just give it five days. Let's go to 430. All right, because I jumped forward in time here artificially, it's gonna give me all of our alerts again. I'm just gonna skip all remaining alerts we already know that this signal occurred. Now, something very interesting happened here. This is actually a great example and something that we haven't gone over yet. If we're looking for 5% projections to the downside, where's our risk? Where do we get out? Well, as a general rule, I always say I take the highest bar in the last couple of days. Worst case scenario, I take the highest point in the last 15 days. Nine times out of 10, your highest point is either going to be a recent red bar or the physical day that the signal occurred. So in this case, the high on 423 is 4053. That's what I would use as my get out. Now, this guy never crossed his trigger point. We never got our confirmation. Instead, price just immediately starts to rise. And since it took out what would have been my exit, I say this trade is null and void. I do not take it. I move on to the next one. I always want stocks to move down and take out their trigger points, especially considering the fact that you're gonna run this report every night, you're gonna to start to get a lot of stocks. You need some way to screen them out. So this one moved up, not down, no problem. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Close it out of this layout. So we didn't take that trade. Our five stocks now become two. We'll continue on here with Cree. Zoom in a little bit. We can see that this guy was in a monster trend and then we got plenty of red bars for days. Every time these red bars come up, once again, reminding us this guy is getting overextended. So let's go view expert commentary. Trigger point is 66.83. We'll make our trigger point red, 66.83, okay. Our 5% projection here is 63.49. I'll place that line, 63.49, okay. And I'll place our 2% projection as well. Sixty-five point four nine. Okay, so we only jump in this trade then if we cross our red line, our trigger point. And once again, I'll move forward in time. Let's see, we're at four twenty-five. Let's. Well, you know what? On this one, let's just let's get a one day. All right, again, I'm gonna skip the alerts. It's only coming up because I move forward in time. And the very next day then, we cross our trigger point. So that same day that we crossed the trigger point, we also crossed the 2% line. That's not really a big signal of anything. It's just kind of, if anything, it's showing you how fast price is falling. So because we crossed our confirmation, you'd be 100% okay to take this trade. We'd be looking for it to hit our 5% or potentially push down even more. Uh, I know this is coming up on a weekend, so let's just jump. Let's see, five, we'll bring it to five, two. Ah, perfect. So we cross our trigger point on 426. Then price kind of does nothing. We go sideways for one, two, three days, and then price gaps way down and rockets up. However, this was our 5% projection and price opened this day way down here, meaning that you had no choice but to make more money on this trade. Like I said before, these trades like this that fall well below 5% do not happen all the time, but they do happen. 
So let's see if our trigger point was 66.83. Let's use the open of this bar because that's the only price that we can 100% confirm other than the close. Our open is 57.60. That means that price roughly fell if you would have sold this on the open 13%. Not bad for only holding the stock one, two, three, four, five days. Whoops. Okay, so out of five stocks, we've narrowed it down to potential two stocks. This one is 100% confirmed and you could have made 13% on your money. Let's check the next one, ACM. Very first thing we always do, view expert commentary, going after that trigger point, 32.86. 32.86. Again, we'll make it red because the early warning is red. Let's find out what our 5% projection is. 31.22. Okay. In this case, I'm going to just save time. I'm not going to do the 2%. And we want to move forward in time again. Oh, let's see. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure there's a weekend here. Let's try five, 430. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to get rid of those remaining alerts. We're going to zoom in. Oh, so let's set what would be our potential exit which is the high of the most recent bar, looking back around 15 days, which is right here. Our high here is 33.82. So that's where I'm gonna put this line, 33.82, okay. There's our stop loss. Here's our entry. We absolutely crossed this, not by much, but we crossed it. The low here is 32.82. And 32.86 was our entry line. So we got in on this stock. It pushed a little higher. You're in it for one, two, three days, and then we got stopped out. Like I said before, not all trades are going to work out, but in this case, we had decent risk management. If our entry was 32.86 and our exit is 33.82, that makes our risk is probably 2.9 something. I'll say 3%. So on this, this stock, we we're looking to make 5%. We lost 3%. Not horrible from a risk to reward standpoint, especially considering that if you took this Cree stock also, uh, excuse me, the Cree trade, you would have made 13 on one. You would have lost roughly three on the other. And that's how we turn our five stocks into two. Again, I think this is a, a very good realistic day. If you currently have uh, the Endeavor, Endeavor program, you can always look back on 425 and you can do the same thing yourself to kind of practice, see which one of these trades you would have taken yourself. But you know, not every trade works out. And I like to always be able to show a realistic view of how these systems work. And having said that, I guess the only thing left to say is, for me, this is as simple as this one gets. If you want a way to make 5% on your money, then all you have to do is run the early warning report and follow these simple steps. And I would say that in this case, running the early warning reports and looking at the stocks takes me again between 10 and 15 minutes because I do it a little bit faster than I was doing it here. Also, I was moving forward in time to show how these things worked out. So between the green signal and the early warning signal, I spend maybe 30 minutes at night looking for these trades. That means that everyone everywhere has the time to do this. And because everyone has the time to identify good trending stocks, that means that everyone can make money on those stocks. Let's go back into Metastock here, or I'm sorry, go back into the presentation. And this kind of brings me to the end of it. The Endeavor add-on though does have more than just the green and the early warning signal. 
like we saw before when we were looking at the power console, there are, all, there are seven total signals. But the most popular ones are the green, because you're looking to make 15 to 20% on your money, and the five, or in the early warning, because you're looking to make 5% of your money in 15 days. Then, if you want more information on a specific signal, uh, all you would actually have to do, I can show you right here. Let's say that you're in this Cree trade, you're in the commentary, and you can't remember exactly how the early warning system works. That's no problem. All you have to do is scroll down midway through the commentary, and we have for quick tips on using early warning, visit our tutorials page. You click on that link, and it's going to bring you to Simplicity's tutorial page, where all you have to do is scroll down, and you'll get in-depth tutorials on how all the signals work. So my example right there was the early warning signal. So let's say maybe you're on vacation for a while, or you're used to using the green signal. You haven't really used the early warning at all. You want a quick video to show you how it works. We have a beginner's guide. This is maybe 15 minutes long. It shows you all the ins and outs of how this works. But let's say that you have traded the early warning before, but you kind of has it's been a while. You need a little refresher course. That's no problem. You can check it out right here with our uh, five minute or less quick reminder tutorial. And this applies to every signal that Endeavor offers. And then while you're here, you can always sign up for our Endeavor's free quick picks. This is a weekly newsletter where we send out uh, early warnings and greens to show people examples of how they work. This is a great way to get kind of introduced into them. You can send us qu questions. We'll send you a ticker. For instance, uh, I don't remember. It was kind of ways away, but we may Wait. have sent out that Cree trade, Reminder letting tutorial. people know, hey, and this stock applies fall 5% in 15 days. And then we update you on how that worked. And then you have the opportunity to email us and ask us questions about it. But let's get down back down to the business at hand. So like I said, if you need those short reminder videos, that's where they are. They're inside the tutorials tab there, inside the main Endeavor program. But now for the question that's on everyone's mind, how much is this going to cost? Not that much. The Endeavor add-on is offered as a subscription service through Metastock. It's only $99 a month for all seven of our signals. One price for access to all the Endeavor signals. Just by using the early warning signal alone, you can more than make up for the price of each month. And right now we have a special, if you buy one month, you get one month free. So two months for only $99. And then of course, if anyone ever has any questions, please do not be shy. All you have to do is shoot us an email at about at simplicitytradingsystems.com. Yeah, and we're gonna get back to you within a day. <clears throat> also, if you wanna sign up for the free quick picks, all you have to do is go to whatsimplicity.com. And then at the bottom of every page is a sign up form. All right, Ryan, can you hear me? I can. All right, good. Uh, we do have a few questions. I was wondering if you could answer them right now. Absolutely. Okay, so um, does the system work on non-U.S. markets? Uh, it does work on non-U.S. markets. Let's pull back up Metastock here. Uh, I personally, I haven't used it on the non-U.S. markets, but it works on every, it works on any security as long as you're looking at it within a daily time frame. Okay. Perfect. So if you're in another country and with another market, it'll absolutely work as long as it's that daily bar chart. If you're trying to trade intraday, it won't work. Uh, we well, also would recommend um, that you play with it a little bit. You know, one of the things that's nice is with the markets, there's no commitment to actually placing trades. We want to make sure that you, uh, anytime you introduce anything new to your trading, take it easy, you know, uh, play with it on paper for a while, see how it works, uh, uh, maybe take a smaller position at start, but you should literally be able to apply this on any market that you want. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd spend a vast majority of my days, you know, on uh, Skype with different people, showing them the ins and outs of how things like this work. So I'm always happy. That's why I put the email address out there. I can bring it back up. Uh, if anyone has questions, email us directly. I'll make a short little video, shoot it back to you. Okay. Uh, uh, one more comment, not really a question. Um, very impressive presentation from Ahmed. So, oh, good. Appreciate that. <laughs> so he wanted to know when he'd received the, the recording. Actually, because of the fact that it's on YouTube Live, you can go to the link I shared, or you can just, if you're watching on YouTube, just start over the video anytime you want to. So in any case, uh, you can sign up. Just go to www.whatsimplicity.com and uh, that'll take you straight to the sign up page. Uh, the offer that we're doing today allows you to buy one month and get a second month for free. So that gives you 60 days for 99 bucks. You can try out the, uh, the Simplicity software, see how it works well for you, how well it works. And if it works well, keep it. It's only 99 bucks a month. You don't really have to do that much trading to make the money back. So uh, with that being said, Ryan, thanks for the, the presentation today. Do you have any final thoughts for us? Uh, the only thing is, Jeff, do you want to maybe put up the link that goes right to our Metastock landing page? Oh, yeah, I thought you had redirected it. So let, you, let me do that. Um, hold on just a second here. Just in the in the chat box so everyone can just, you know, real quick click. Otherwise, I can show. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let me show my screen. All right. Um, uh, so with the STS Endeavor, cat, what you're going to get is you're going to get all the co categories, the color codes, the smart get outs. Um, you're going to get the green, the blue signals, the black, the black two, the blue two. Um, and if you want to go ahead and sign up for that, uh, the place you can go is metastock.com slash simplicity trading A. If you have any questions for us, give us a call. The phone number is 800-882-3040 or you can visit us online at metastock.com and ask questions at metastock.com slash sales chat. So that $99, basically you pay for a month, you get a free month, 60-day um, uh, basically evaluation period. It's instant access, and uh, you also get instant uh, access to the training videos on demand. Was that what you were looking for, Ryan? Yeah, okay. Just a, it's a much simpler way, right? Because you click the link, it goes right to the landing yeah. page. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, there's, additional tutorial videos on there as well. I think there's one like 20 minute video that shows just everything Endeavor can do. Okay, awesome. Well, I, uh, I certainly appreciate your time today, Ryan. Uh, thanks for everybody that joined us um, and uh, let us know if there's, uh, we'll see you at the next one.